Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. As you can see in my background, this is my work area where I do my videos. I usually camouflage it with a virtual green screen, but my green screen projector is not working at this present time. So you can see my background area of where I work to make my videos. Well, I've been on the Mental Stimulus Update side. They have basically decided to come out with two different stimulus checks not checks sorry stimulus packages the first stimulus package is a 1.2 trillion dollar stimulus package that is for the physical infrastructure which you know the bridges and the waterways and stuff like that and Mitch McConnell has said basically that infrastructure package for 1.2 trillion dollars is most likely going to pass as long as they have a way of paying for it. So basically the physical infrastructure for our country will help out make a lot more jobs as long as, you know, it's paid for just by what Mitch McConnell says. The second stimulus package, I'm, we're not exactly sure what's in it, but it is the, the human infrastructure package. And Bernie Sanders basically said that on the high end, it might cost round about $6 trillion. That's what he's saying. But what he probably actually means, is, is what he said, is that most likely a $6 trillion stimulus package would not pass just for some fact that it's too high of a cost. And that's just on the high end of what it could cost, but it probably won't cost that much at all. In fact, it probably actually cost more around about $3 trillion. And here's where my problem comes in with this. The human infrastructure package gives parents free money. That's right, you heard me. It gives you free money. It gives you, I think, $250 per child under, no, no, five and up, and $300 per child that are under five years of age. And it's supposed to last for four years. Well, from all the information I found out is our social security system might be going bankrupt. This is what I've heard from a few different info, info uh, videos I've watched talking about how bad it's been getting. Because if you've been paying attention as we go on outside, um, you've noticed that our water is actually evaporating and going away. In fact, here in Utah, the Great Salt Lake has basically dry docked all the docks because it has gone it has evaporated and gone down that much and what really sucks is it, that they say that utah is one of the most highest water consumers by volume in our country i okay i drink water but only when i'm at work when i'm at home monster i mean come on really I don't really drink water in my home because I'm usually in a nice cool area where I actually don't have to worry about sweating and replenishing my, my fluids like I do when I'm at work. But um, basically the um, $3 trillion stimulus package that they're talking about, like I said, includes human infrastructure, which is like supposed to be universal college tuition, um, the tax credits and cuts for, I'm guessing the middle class and lower because this is all done going to be done by the democrats and democrats only and why they're not trying to push the six trillion dollar envelope is because more moderate democrats like kirsten mansion uh, sorry kirsten cinema and joe mansion would most likely push back and say nope that's not happening because they're representatives of republican states so they'd probably say that six dollars six trillion dollars is way too much money but they like said it's the human infrastructure which means basically you you parents out there with kids would be getting money every month for your children for four up to four years if it passed that's also depending on whether joe mansion kirsten cinema actually passed i mean don't get me wrong on this one most parents nowadays if, if you can't afford to have a child then why do you have one because, I mean, it's like basically, I mean, I have friends out there that have children that actually work their asses off. And yet, the people that are going to be getting most of this free tax, this free childcare money. Well, 
this stuff's what is really child care money is most likely going to be the people that are on welfare that basically live off the system and that's not good I mean because there's a lot of parents out there like I said that work their ass off this, this little extra money would help them out with their children to take care of them better whereas if people that are on welfare or still in unemployment if it still exists in certain states need to be getting off their butts and getting jobs to make our economy better instead of you know saying that ah oh, you know I'll just live out the system it's not gonna hurt nobody when it hurts everybody but like I said, this this is just information that's come across my table about the two stimulus packages. We don't know if there's a fourth stimulus check in the second stimulus package or not because not all the details have been released yet. But like I said, that is the second one is a human infrastructure uh, package, which is Democrats only. And the first one is the physical infrastructure for our country, which the Republicans are backing. As long as it's already paid, as long as it's paid for before it's passed, I'm guessing that's what at least that's what uh, Mitch McConnell says. But what can you really take Mitch McConnell's word for? Because he's sort of an idiot, you know what I mean. But to keep you guys knowing up, up to date here, <laughs> this information is actually coming across my ears today. Apparently, the House representatives, as well as the Senate, has been on a three-week vacation for the Fourth of July. And they're coming back next week. And they got to work fast because they're taking a one month summer break in August. How many of you actually out there really can take that much time off and not worry about losing your job like the House Representatives and the Senate does? I mean, come on, this is this is a joke. Our, our, our elected representatives take more time off then they do work and then when they do work they do it so fast they screw it up and hurt the people i think it's about time that that people stand up to these represent our, our elected representatives whether it be senate or the house representatives and basically say look we're not paying you to take vacations we're not paying you to take time off in fact we got to actually stand up to them and say look now your wages are going to be controlled by the people and not by you because as we all know the senate likes to give themselves raises whenever they want as well as the president and and so on down the line it's, you know what i mean i mean that's why the senate's making so much money as is because they can give themselves their own raises i can't give myself a raise i have to work my i have to work my butt off to even get a raise you know what i mean or get a different job that is which I did. I got me a different job. I've been pulling fiber for internet, so I'm making more money now. So I'm sort of happy, <laughs> even though it's long days and and going to be longer days next week. But it's all good. But our, our representatives in the Senate and the House of Representatives, they need to be put on a, a, a tighter budget. We need to control how much they make because they're getting paid to take t take three weeks off for the uh, for 4th of July and then in August take a month off they're getting paid for that too I mean how fair is that they take so much time off and get paid for it and yet we try that shit and we get fired so it's about time we the people actually say look you work for us and this is how it's going to play out because they're not worth what they're making if they're taking all this time off and screwing the people and screwing our country it doesn't matter whether you're a Democrat or Republican. If you're going to take that much time off and hurt the people and hurt this country by not doing your job, then your wage needs to be controlled by the people that actually put you in office. So it doesn't matter whether you're a Mitch McConnell or a Chuck Schumer or or a Pelosi or a McCarthy, because those are basic leaders right there of the House and the Senate, or their underlings, we, the people, need to control their wages. And if they're not going to work, they shouldn't get paid. It's just that simple. I mean, that's how it is with us. So it should be the same thing with them. It doesn't matter what their position. I mean, look at President Joe Biden. He's actually been staying in the White House all this time. Yeah, I yeah, grant you, he's actually gone and seen Putin. And Putin's actually comment, commented on him in a very good compliment. Basically, said he was more coherent than Trump was, which isn't surprising. But, um,. And yeah, he's taking a few uh, business trips for the people out of the country to try to smooth stuff over with 
the people are upset with us, which would be basically like uh, North Korea and Russia. But he's doing his job, whereas the Senate and the House of Representatives, if they're not staying home on their vacation, they're actually going out of state on the vacation. And Pelosi's one of those people that actually likes to use the Air Force um, jets and stuff like that to actually travel at the taxpayer's money. So we need to get in touch with our representatives and say, look, and get a petition signed up and make it so that we the people vote when they get a raise. We say when they get a raise and how much they get a raise and basically how much they're going to be currently making. And if they don't like it, then they're fired. We're the ones who put them in. We're the ones who should fire them. So we should actually make it more clear to them that we control them. They don't control us because they work for us. They work, our taxpayer, our tax money pays their wages, basically. So they work for us. But before I continue on and rant and rave, I'm going to wish you guys a wonderful evening. So until next time, you guys be safe out there, okay? Bye.